How do you get your answers? See, Jesus is describing there's one of two options. One is rooted in him being the truth, and the other is rooted in paganism, humanism, dismissing God, us being the center. Now, you may have never thought about this, but I want to draw something out for you. What, what, what he's really doing, and I'm, I'm going to extend it. Now we're back at the drawing. And I'm going to kind of extend it. It's kind of at the house level, the, the more superficial, if you will. And, and how the world tends to handle this. The world tends to teach us that you have to kind of be true to yourself. In fact, if you're a note taker and you want to do the whole long thing I'm going to do, then you can, or you can just follow along. But, but be true to yourself. That's what, that's what the world tells us. If you're going to be true, if you're going to be authentic, if you're going to be, if you're going to be real, then you've got to be true to yourself. But that, it goes further than that. What, what it really means is, is, is what you're supposed to do. And what you're supposed to do is go inside yourself. See, if you want to find out what's true, the world tells us go inside yourself. You can't get the truth everywhere else. You got to get inside. Get inside. Find the truth in me. And, and really the question you're going to end up asking yourself is how do I feel? Huh. Because I have an opinion. I have a thought. I have an expression. I have an emotion. I have a compulsion. I have an inclination. How do I feel? And as soon as you figure out how you feel because you went inside yourself, now you're just going to be true to yourself. And what that means is that truth surrenders to your feelings. Oh, this is deep, deep, deep conversation in this culture. See, now all of a sudden, truth surrenders to feelings, and that makes sense. I mean, it can't be wrong if it feels so right. So we're making decisions in life about foundational truth based on how we feel because how we feel is what we do going inside to be true to ourselves. Maybe you've never thought about this. Let's keep talking. Because Jesus steps up and he teaches something different. Instead of be true to yourself, he says, be true to your creator. So you're created by God in the image of God. You have the purpose of God on you. You have the image of God stamped in you. Be true to your creator. And so that, what, is that, what, what, what does that mean you do? You have to go outside yourself. Well, of course you do. Be, because you're not the creator, so you're going to have to get outside yourself. You're going to have to get beyond yourself. In fact, in a moment, I'll, I'll just take this a little bit further. And, and, and over here, I'll, I'll just give you illustration of what I mean by four reasons, or examples, not reasons, four examples of why you've got to get beyond yourself, outside yourself, in order to get the truth. And, and so, so what do you ask? Now what you ask under this, what Jesus is teaching, is, is what does God say? See, what does God say? Because now I'm looking for the truth, and the truth isn't in me. The truth is in God. And, and so now I'm going to be true to God. And in order to be true to God, i got to get outside myself, get to God. And, and i, I got to know what does God say. And then I act. And this is where my feelings surrender to the truth. Whew. Yeah, it's a lot of writing, it's a lot of talking, but we gotta have this conversation. See, so often we have these decoration dialogues when what's really at risk is the whole house, our lives, but it's foundational conversations. And Jesus says, you, the moment you come to faith in Jesus, this is no longer how you make decisions. You, you now make decisions to be true to your creator. This is what becomes transformed, your foundation right here. 